Jen from Pure Juicer. I've got Becky here too, who is our chef and our recipe maker. We are so excited to be here. This is our first live with you at YouTube. We actually have a number of lives that we've done on Instagram, um, but we wanted to come here and show you our one of our most favorite drinks right now, and one of the most popular uh, drinks on YouTube, created by our founder, David Feinberg. Um, first off is with pi uh, pineapple. <laughs> so we've got pineapple, we have oranges, and we have chili pepper. We also sometimes use jalapenos. Um, we were excited about this vibrant red color, um, especially because it's summertime right now and these are all about ripe and ready to be eaten. So we decided to use a red hot chili pepper. Um, so we've got pineapple, oranges, and pepper. The beauty of this recipe is we do not need to use the grinder. We just are going to press. So this is a great one if you are really pressed on time. Um, but still want a lot of juice with a lot of flavor and or if you have guests over and want to be able to show off your juicer, which many people do, um, because you really only need to press this pepper. We've done, uh, done it also with grinding, but uh, pressing works really, really well. And we actually just did this juice, which doesn't have pineapple, it's just orange, pepper, and matcha. Uh, and we just soaked, Be Becky just put the peppers into the juice. And I tell you what, it is actually stronger so strong. than if you grind it. So let's get started. Ooh. We've got Becky who has um, cut up the chili peppers. She, are you going to keep the seeds or are you not? I'm going to keep the seeds. Spicy. Go crazy, right? <laughs> so we got some spicy juice coming up. And what are you going to do with the oranges? So I'm just going to put the oranges right in here. I used a, a liner um, and the press cloth. And I'm just going to throw these right in here too. And then... Close it up. So let me talk really quick about the, the cloths. Um, we've got cloths here and then we have a liner. Most of the juices we make don't need a liner, but for citrus, we love to use liners because it makes it very easy to clean the cloths. This basically will just fall right out. It kind of holds everything in place, so citrus is great for this. Sometimes if you're doing raspberries or grapes, Anything that might want to sneak out of the cloths or bags will use a liner. Um, so that's why Becky used a liner for this one. Okay, and now she's going to wrap it in a cloth because you never press with just a liner. You always press with a liner and a cloth or bag. All right, so that was tic-tac-toe. We're going to do one more. I'm going to do pineapple on this. I'm just putting in just like that, skin and all. Fold it. This is so good. This is seriously... Fold it. Everything is better with pineapple juice. Everything is better with Should pineapple juice. Let's do one more. Yeah. Because I think we're going to have brown. Yes. To cram all three in there. Great. So you see um, that she put the oranges with the peppers and then just did two pineapples. Sometimes, and what we did for the juice that I just showed you, is we actually ground the chili directly onto the pineapple. There's so many things that we can't wait to show you. But for today, we're going to stick with the easiest, shortest, um, go ahead and you want to show us how it goes into yes. the press chamber? Do they fit? It's going to fit. It's really? going to fit. Yes, it did it. Oh my gosh. So as a beginner, we don't recommend <laughs> that you um, go with three, but we've been doing a lot of pressing today. We're feeling very confident, very confident. about our skills. And right. let's get started. Okay. Yeah, let's get this out of the way. So you see she's controlling the press to ensure that all of the juice is going right where she wants it. Yep, you can put all the in. Yep. Yes! That is going to be so easy. So what inspired this recipe too is the chilies and the oranges are great anti-inflammatory and they're also good for chronic pain. Um, the pineapple is great for lungs, it's great for cardiovascular and it's great for a lot of other things. We get this through our periodic table of juicing, and that can be found on our website. You can download it for free. Just go to the site and go to blog, and it's right under the blog. You can download it for free. If you want a great version that is, let's see if I have it somewhere. I don't, but it is basically like a, a, a food mat. What do you call those things? A place mat. A place mat. It's like a place mat, mm -hmm. and it has all the different fruits and vegetables that are uh, organized based on different parts of your health. And it was created by our founder, Dr. I mean, it was created by 
by our founder, David Feinberg, and then Dr. Ruboy, who is an integrative neurologist and has a PhD in environmental toxicology. I'm usually normally very <laughs> easy going with these, but this YouTube audience, I'm excited. Do you want to yeah. show how we press and how more juice comes out of there? Yeah, so just going to get that off. So I'm going to take these, and there is more juice hiding in there. So I'm going to fold these all in half. I think those will probably be enough. The orange will be separate. Okay. I'm going to put this in like so and watch your fingers. Press it again. So the cool thing about the this press is it has two and a half tons of pressure. It's like a rhinoceros sitting on your pieces of pineapple. <laughs> um, it will squeeze every single last drop. There is about 86% water in pineapple, and we get an 87 to 88% yield. Look how much more juice is coming out. It's There's really always more always juice than pineapple. pineapple. It's so satisfying. There's, we never just press once. We always press two times for pineapple, sometimes more than that, especially if we have other things that we can do. Because once it's pressing, you don't have to do anything. You can just go clean up. You can prep for another juice. You can make breakfast, whatever it is that you going on in your day. So once the stream breaks, this is what David always tells us, when the stream breaks, that when you, that's when it's done and you can let it go and turn the press down. But we've got the oranges yeah, that we'll do as well. So. so maybe we can just do that anyway. Yeah. See. Pineapple will go on forever. This will go on for a long time. I'll fold it one more right. time and I'll prep it for you. You're going to do one more? I'm going to prep it for Yeah. Pull my fingers. I'm just waiting it to go up so it stays folded. And there we go. So the cloths can be reused two to three hundred times. They're um, rinsed and stored in the freezer. They can also be soaked in OxyClean once a week or so. That's another great way to store them. But these are designed to last for hundreds of uses. Okay, yeah. And then let's go ahead and get the last bit of pineapple in there. I think that one's good. Oh, we pressed it with the peel on. That's awesome. Yeah. We're, sometimes we press oranges with the peel, sometimes we don't. There's two different schools, even within pure. So, But there are health benefits to the peels. Most peels and definitely rinds. So I think we got it all. That's amazing. Okay. Test this yep. juice out. Let's test it. I'm going to get rid of this. Take this away. All right, there you go. This is so fun. All right, so we pressed pineapple, oranges, and chili pepper. Mm -hmm. It is such a beautiful. Do you want any ice in yours or no ice? Um, yeah, let's have ice a little ice. ice. It's a hot day here. <laughs> All right, it's summertime. Yes. I'm going to do a little bit too. Yay. We could garnish with a little bit of chili pepper as well, but we're really excited to drink this. So yes. just have to pretend like there's a red garnish on there. Cheers. Good. Mm -hmm. You get a little hint of chili in the back of your throat. Of it. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. So if we wanted a stronger flavor, we would let it sit with the chili pepper rind that's left in the cloth. We'll probably we could let that sit in here and make it stronger. Um, but it's actually ideal if you just want a little hint of something mm -hmm. spicy in there. It's so refreshing. Yeah. So refreshing. Yeah. The other thing that I like, and I'm going to be kind of gross here, don't do this at home, especially when you have guests, but, you know, here's these guys. Here's the garnish. Yeah. I'll let you pick in there. <laughs> I'm going by. Yeah. And there you go. And we've also made some wonderful ice cubes. Oh, yeah. Do you want to see the ice cubes? So we have a couple of ice cubes as well. I'll just come and bring them to you. They're in the process of 
freezing. We were in a test kitchen um, earlier today. So what we did is we made orange, jalapeno, and then we put in some matcha too. We were going, we were inspired by Dr. Lee's post about chronic pain and different fruits and vegetables that are great for chronic pain. And oranges, chili peppers, and matcha are three out of the five on his list that were great for that. And we made it into a cocktail, we made it into a juice, and then we made it into cubes, and all of them are delicious. So good. And hot. Yes. Are there any questions or anything else out there? I haven't seen anything. All right, well, we'll be doing more of these lives. Let us know if there's anything that you'd like us to see, like um, anything that you'd like us to do for you. And um, let's go. Cheers. Yeah. Here's your juice. Cheers. Again, it's Jen from Pure Juicer, signing off.